I'm Barry. This is September 21st, 2011, and this is my third official vlog. It was my intention to do a vlog every day, but I didn't do one yesterday. And I was all prepared to do one yesterday because it was the equinox. And as some people know, but most people don't know, the equinox of the autumn and of the spring are the only two days in which you can take a chicken egg and you can stand it up on its end. And some people don't know that. They think, well, I bet you can do it on any other day, but it doesn't occur to you to try to do it on any other day. So we just don't know. But that's not true. So I had a whole presentation prepared, but then before I was going to do that, first some people asked me if I wanted to go to dinner, which I usually don't want to do, but I went. And we went to a restaurant where we had tapas, which I'm not sure what tapas means. That sounds like a Spanish word, but what I know is that we got to order like 15 different things off of the menu, and they all came on really little plates, which they were good. But what happened, well, first what happened is that we sat down at the table and the woman came, who I, I think she was the waitress, though she didn't really introduce herself properly, and she had a rag. She had a moist towel that looked like it had been in her pocket, and she rubbed it all over the table, which I don't know where that towel's been, and I th guess she was trying to clean the table, but if you're going to clean something, you should probably use something that's already clean if you're going to clean it. So now the table was all moist, and she didn't have any paper towels to dry it with or anything, and I wasn't so sure about that. And furthermore, there was Parmesan cheese in a jar on the table, and this was like at 6 o'clock at night, and I'm pretty sure that cheese had been sitting there all day long. And... I know a lot about cheese, and Parmesan, it doesn't go bad very fast like some other cheese, but you don't really want to keep it out on the table all day long, unless maybe it's, it has preservatives in it, in which case it's not very good quality. So just be, from those two things upon sitting down, I had a lot of questions about this restaurant, and I wasn't so sure about it. But it was also very noisy, and there were televisions everywhere with all these different things happening, and it wasn't really a good environment for digestion, which I like things to be more quiet when I eat. I don't just want noise all the time. But to get to the part about the food, we were eating the tapas, and I had calamari, and I had little bits of lamb, and I had there were these little miniature pizza things, and there were all kinds of good food. And I, don't get me wrong, I like the food, but here's what happened, is that the woman who rubbed the towel with the, on, on the table, she came back, but then there were other people coming back, and there was somebody who was constantly asking me if he wanted to refill my water, or sometimes wouldn't even ask me. I would I have only had a little bit of my water, and we'd try to, try to pour it, and I didn't want to be bothered all the time. But what really happened that bothered me is that I was eating my tapas and I, there were like 15 different little plates of food on the table and there were little bits on every plate. There were maybe three or four plates in which there were no bits and even those plates had a little bit of sauce and things that you could dip your bread into. But I don't know who our waitress was, but some other people came and they were all in a big hurry and the, the restaurant was really busy and the people were like, can I clear this for you? And, and there were still little bits of food on the plate and they tried to take the plates away when we were still eating them and we had to say, no, we're, we're, we're still eating those, those are okay. And that's not so bad because the woman was trying to help. But then... I am not even making this up. It was maybe 15 seconds later and another person came and she was another young lady and I don't know who she was and she came and she was like, can I take your plates? I'm like, we're like, no, they, no. And I'm not even making this up. Maybe 20 seconds later, a third person came and tried to take our plates again. And at this point, I was really frustrated and I was flustered too. And I, you're not even going to believe this, but... Maybe 15 seconds later, a fourth person, I'd never seen this person before, they tried to take our plates too. And it makes me wonder what they're doing. What, what, you, you come to a restaurant and you want it to feel like maybe it's your living room and you can relax. And how you, can you relax with all this going on and people trying to take your food? So then what happened after that is that there's a little card on the table and it says, how did we do? 
And it has all of these little categories where you can write about your restaurant experience. And there's little boxes where you can go one to five. And there's a section where you can write things down. And so I got my pen that I keep in my pack. And I was writing down a lot like what I'm talking about right now. and How they think they can do it differently. And I ran out of room on the card. And so I got another card. And I took a piece of tape that I also keep in my pack. And I taped the two cards together. And then I started continuing to write what I had to say. And some of the people who I were with, they told me they thought that was rude and that I shouldn't write so much. But that doesn't make a lot of sense to me because they provide the cards that are right there on the table. It's not like some restaurants that provide crayons or I don't know what else people provide, like ketchup and old cheese. They provided the cards and they wanted to know my feedback. And so I... I I wrote them some feedback, but the people I was with, they were very uncomfortable that, that I was going to give a negative assessment of my experience. They thought that was rude, but I don't think that's rude. That's all I have to say today, but if I could give some advice, I would say that if you don't like the experience that you're having, whether it's in a restaurant or somewhere else, you should feel okay about saying it and telling people how you feel because that's sometimes the only way that, that people will know how you feel. And, you know, maybe people don't, don't want to do it the bad way. Maybe they want to do it the good way, and they need you to tell them. I think people should talk to each other about how they feel a lot more. And if we were to do that, well, things would be good. I'm Barry, and this has been my vlog.